Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to register for Salesforce certification online examination. The first step you have to do is go to your webazor.com. If you already have a login and a password, you can give your login ID and password and login in. If you don't have a login and password, you have to sign up for the webazor login. Once you while doing sign up, you have to fill all these details and click on save. So after that, with that ID and password, logging into the webizard.com. Then in the home page, you have an option called register for an examination. Go to register for an examination. Here, choose the which certification you want to do exams. I want to do for the certification two. Click here and you will see uh, on site and online. Select online. The next step, you are going to choose the date and time. Unfortunately, I don't have any dates due to this COVID 19 situation. It is very difficult to find the dates for online examination. So we got for July, even for July 31st, select the time. And one thing you have to note down here is, if your exam is scheduled online protocol, you can schedule or cancel your exam before the scheduled start time without incurring a fee. Usually you can reschedule or you can uh, cancel the online examination uh, 24 hours before the scheduled time. Currently, due to this COVID-19 situation, they have given a, a relaxations that you can uh, cancel your or reschedule your online examination even before your schedule start time. So just check this particular page before you are uh, registered for online examination. In the next step, it will go to this uh, certification shopping cart. If you have a voucher coupon, give this coupon here and submit it. It will and give a checkout. Suppose you paid, uh, you have uh, scheduled an examination with your voucher code, and if you want to cancel the examination, still the voucher code can be valid until you complete the examination. Once you have uh, registered for that, you will get a registration uh, email for online exam. If you look at this email, they have mentioned there are a few things that we need to complete at least 24 hours before our examination begins. First thing is, uh, we, whether our machine, uh, your system or laptop should have all the necessary uh, requirements and we have to download the Senitel software, software and we have to complete the biometric enrollment process. Okay, how it will be like? Let me show you. So on your Criterion homepage itself, where once you are registered for your examination in the homepage itself, you will see this message like uh, step one and step two. What you have to do, you have to install the Senitel uh, software. Once you install that software, uh, you will not get any confirmation or something, but you don't have to worry about that. It will be installed for sure. And the next thing is you have to click on the step two, enroll in biometrics. Once you enrolled for the biometrics, it will, uh, uh, it is nothing but it will check your face identification. The biometrics software will run. It will ask you to sit straight in your front of your webcam and you have to straight and once the green bar is comes up, you have to click OK. That's it. Your uh, step one and step two will be completed and you are perfectly ready for your online examination. Suppose at any case, if you want to reschedule your examination, you can reschedule the online examination for until this COVID-19 situation. You can reschedule at any time before your scheduled time. Uh, maybe after that, you, you have to reschedule or cancel only before 24 hours of your online examination. Once you have rescheduled that, obviously you will get a confirmation email like this. Okay. Very important thing we need to discuss is, do we need a, a webcam for online examination? Yes, definitely we need a webcam, but not like usually uh, we can do online examination with external webcam, but Due to this COVID-19 situation, Salesforce released a special uh, FAQ. I will share this FAQs and webers or other login links in this uh, 
video description and in the first command. If you look at that online proctoring exam, FAQ, will Salesforce request an external webcam? No. As a result of COVID-19 outbreak, we are making temporary changes to our online proctor exam. So temporarily, we no longer requiring the external webcam. Okay. And similarly, at any chance, if you are able to, you have to cancel your examination, if that added the, any additional incurring fee, what you can do is, you can still submit a case with Salesforce and you can get the refund. This is what they have mentioned in their Salesforce website. Okay. Even at the any chance, if you find any difficulties of uh, online examination, you can still get an assistance from the criteria on online.com. And this particular uh, link also will be put, we will put in the video description and the first comment. Okay, I hope you got a clear idea. Are you if you have still have any questions on online examination, you can drop your questions in the video comments. We will check the comments and we will reply you. If you if you want to get more updates on the Salesforce regarding Salesforce, you can subscribe our channel. And we are also doing Salesforce online uh, trainings. You can visit our website ajdevelopment.com and you can go here and you can check here for more details and you will get the details of how we are training our candidates. We have been doing this service for the last two and a half years and we are, uh, there are many certified professionals uh, come up from us. These are our professional and many people have get placed also. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much.